Saturday's shooting is the third major attack in recent months on a place of worship. Today, the faith community in Boston came together in solidarity. WBC's Tiffany Chan is live at the New England Holocaust Memorial, where a vigil was just held. Tiffany. Ken and Katie, dozens of people gathered here at the Holocaust Memorial in Boston to mourn and to pray, not only for the victims of Saturday's synagogue shooting in California, but for peace and safety at places of worship. Hearts weighing heavy tonight. I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel. The Boston Jewish community standing in solidarity after gunfire broke out at a California synagogue Saturday. In Poway, Pittsburgh, or Jerusalem, we are targeted simply for being Jewish. But at the same time, we must not give in to panic and bitterness. The shooting left a 60-year-old woman dead and three others, including a rabbi, injured. Dozens gathered by the New England Holocaust Memorial in Boston to reflect and mourn. Governor Charlie Baker paying his respects through prayer. I simply can't imagine what it must be like to get up in the morning and discover that somebody has been shot and killed or injured in a house of worship simply because they share the same religion that you do, or the same race, or the same creed, or the same ethnicity. In the wake of tragedy, prayer is a major step towards healing. People want to gather. I think it's the time where you want to be with with others and raise your voice and say this is this needs to end. And Governor Charlie Baker added that he's outraged by this attack, but he's standing with the Jewish community, telling them that he hears them and that he supports them. Live in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.